And this is how I spray my okras when I see aphids. It's a solution, it's water and a few drops of uh, dishwasher, dishwashing soap. And you can see the aphids right there, so I just spray it. this if you see ants uh, on your plants that means you have aphids so every time you see ants you gotta spray If you don't spray, the plants die off, so you want to do it. Got some cucumbers going on there. They also attack beans. Bean seedlings, these are beans. I'm going to spray them also. Usually the soap does the food do not harm the plants, so they're gonna be okay. Spray as much as you can. We're gonna find some more. This one's pretty healthy, so I'm not gonna spray it. Let's see, this one is very, it has, you can see the ants there. Hopefully you can, uh, that means it has aphid infestation, so I'm gonna spray it now. You can see the... Let's see if you can zoom out. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but you can see the ants. Um, everywhere you see ants, uh, on your plants that means they have some kind of pest so usually aphids um, some more ants here so I'm going to spray this one these are red burgundy okras you can see a lot of ants on this one so Lots of aphids. The problem with aphids is they suck the sugars of the plants. So if you leave them on, they won't let the the fruit or vegetables grow. So they get take all the energy, and so that's why you want to spray to prevent that. I see a lot of a lot of uh, ants. So everywhere you see ants, you spray spraying these cucumbers. Usually at this time of the year, they attack okras. Uh, if you if you uh, apply the soap on time, they stop and they don't keep going if you wait too long it's sometimes it's really hard to stop them once once the damage done so spray as early as you can okay so I'll have updates see how the if it's were contained if I don't I'm gonna spray again uh, I'll check this week and then I'll have an update for you thank you for watching